I had a, uh, a dream one night about two American GIs in World War II who met two sisters behind the enemy lines, and uh, the sisters were helping them get back to their, to their unit. From there, I incorporated a, uh, a larger story. I didn't know anything about the Common Escape line. I, um, I had the idea for, the, for these four characters to, uh, to be together in this, in, in this situation. I did some research and I found that there was a, a system, an underground system uh, called uh, the Comet Line, the Comet Escape Line, that did actually exist in World War II. And I figured, wow, that's a great setting to bring these characters together. To me, the play really focuses on everyone fully committing to believing they're doing the right thing. So whether it is the family, thinking that they're doing the right thing with the resistance and how they approach it, how they deal with it, whether it's the soldiers that are doing the right thing by trying to escape and get back to London. Um, in some ways, and it sounds odd, but that the Nazis believe with conviction they're doing the right thing. Every character in this show wholeheartedly believes that what they are doing is the right thing. There's an extreme level of intensity to this show because the stakes are so high. You can't do a show without comedy. You can't have that heavy drama for two hours straight and maintain uh, something where people care. Even the darkest play, you have to have those couple moments here and there that, that show some type of hope or show how life used to be or show how life can be with that that humor and that levity. And that lends uh, credence to the characters too. It makes them more, more real, more relatable. Uh, we have the family, which, uh, which consists of the, uh, the father, Burke, and his two, his two daughters, uh, Lynette, who is 19, and his younger daughter, Andy, who is uh, eight or nine. Those two female characters are really at, at, the, um, at the center of this story. These are children that have lived through war, um, which we know has an adverse impact on anyone, but on children in particular. They either have to grow up too fast or never grow up. Andy doesn't speak for the vast majority of the show, um, and we are very lucky to have a very talented young actress, uh, Anna Chandless, um, who acts without words, which is a tough thing to do for any actor, um, but especially difficult for if someone that age. But Burke uh, is, is the character name. Um, he, he is the epitome of a man who believes he's doing the right thing. He truly believes that his family and uh, his patriotism for, for France uh, is at the crux of everything he does. Um, and then we have our soldiers. But Bizarro and Decker. Decker is a little more, um, he's a little more uh, analytic uh, about the situation and he um, he knows uh, what needs to be done from a uh, maybe an administrative level uh, so he's uh, relied on for that purpose and Bizarro is uh, is younger and he's he's quite frightened of this situation too and he's uh, he really uh, has has kind of a bad feeling about about the, the whole situation that they're in of course they have relationships that um, intertwine with the uh, with the French family which um, I think is very interesting to watch. <laughs> pretty, uh, it's a pretty impactful ending uh, that I think the, uh, the audience is going to really respond to. As the director sits here saying, don't give away the ending. <laughs> <laughs>